two weeks ago, I built a massive Hot Wheels track going from upstairs to downstairs of my house. And it was ridiculous. Here's a clip of it. Oh, it's, oh, there it goes, there it goes. But today I decided it's time to take it up a notch, just a little bit. We're building a Hot Wheels track underwater. Woo! It is a little cold outside. It's like 45 degrees right now. You guys are probably like gonna speak about how you're gonna build a, a Hot Wheels track underwater. How's, how? Well, with this. <laughs> this is a giant clear tube and we're gonna put a Hot Wheels track in here and we're gonna put this underwater. Put the car in here and then it goes and it goes and it broke. Great. Before we get into a big video like this, I'd like to have a good blueprint. We're gonna start the Hot Wheels track on top of the ladder, going all the way down the ladder and into the pool. That is where the track will first be underwater. Then we're going to make a U-turn, going back underwater, then coming out of the pool and around to the hot tub. And then we're gonna make a long track going around the whole entire backside of the pool. And after all that, we're gonna finish it off with a massive loop. All right, so we're just about ready to get started on this build. I am so, so excited. But before we get into this, I have to let you guys know that you gotta watch till the end of the video Otherwise, you're not gonna see the whole completed thing. And also, you guys gotta click that like button and the subscribe button. If that subscribe button is glowing red, just waiting for you to click on it. You guys gotta click it because you do not wanna miss the future content that is coming out on this channel. More insane stuff like this, of course. All right, well, I think I'm ready. I'm warmed up. Let's do this. Let's start with the Hot Wheels track on the ladder. First part of the underwater Hot Wheels track is looking good, but uh, hold on, a little bit of an issue. If you guys look right here, the Hot Wheels track steeps up because the bars of the ladder kind of come out more than they do up there. I just tested it with a Hot Wheels car and now that Hot Wheels car is, well, at the bottom of the pool. This Hot Wheels car gets so much speed when it comes down, it literally hits the slightest little incline and just boom. So that means we're gonna have to redo this whole entire thing. Great, give me just one second. The one second is up, and after tons of attempts, I think I finally got it, guys. Check this thing out. This thing is crazy. I also put a, a tube right there. It doesn't really help or do anything. I thought it was just cool. Let me show you guys that this thing works. Here we go. Three, two, one. What was that? Let's try this again. Three, two, one. There you go. It made it all the way to the end of the Legos. All right. Well, now it's time for some fun. Time to go underwater. Oh, he so this is our giant underwater tube. This thing is absolutely massive. Oh, there's water inside. Now I've had to duct tape it together. Now I was very, very careful on this duct tape. So hopefully, oh, this is kind of nerve wracking. All right, we're putting all the duct tape and everything underwater here. Here we go. Submerging all of it. Seems like a pretty solid seal. <laughs> well, I think we're just about ready to put this thing underwater and put a Hot Wheels track through it. What have we done? We have done uh, this. This is what we've done. And um, I decided to extend the tube to a uh, little tube links. So now there is one, two, three, four, five, instead of when I showed you guys, I think it was three. Now the reason I did that is because I didn't have enough tubes to make it across the pool. But the problem is, is now I'm completely out of tubes. So I don't think we're gonna be able to make a U-turn and go back around, you know, flip. This blueprint here is gonna have to be changed up, but that's okay. Cause this blueprint was only plan A and we're gonna have a plan B. Check this out. So the tube is about halfway underwater right here. I need a little bit more weight, but the way I weighed it down is I got ropes and bricks and it's pretty much holding the thing underwater. If you look down here, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but there is no water in this tube at all. So, oh, oh, we might have water in it now. Oh, hello. What are you wearing? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> looking, uh, looking real fancy. Wow. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna try to fit the track through the tube. Uh, hopefully everything goes well. I mean, I don't really know what can go wrong here, but. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, look, it's coming out on the other side. <laughs> and then, wow, perfect length. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We're good. Now it's time to test it. Hold on. Stay right there. All right. So this is a, a pretty rough test. I have no idea if this is going to work. And I really, really, really hope the car doesn't get stuck in the tube. I don't know if this is going to work. I hope it does. Three, two, one. Oh, we'll try again. <laughs> Attempt number two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Cross your fingers. Oh, oh it worked. 
this that, little buddy. That, that is something to celebrate right there. Woo I'm so, so excited and proud of this right now. I can't believe it actually worked. I was thinking to myself as literally the whole entire time I was building this thing, I was like, there's no way this thing's gonna work. Like, what am I doing right here? I'm duct taping plastic tubes together and putting them underwater and hoping no water gets into them and running a Hot Wheels car through it. Like, it just seemed like it wasn't gonna work, but it did. And I'm so, so proud of this. It turned out awesome. Now I'm gonna put more bricks and wait about here. So hopefully more than half or almost this whole entire tube will be underwater. Right now, only all of that is underwater, but if we could make all of this underwater, that'd be good. Like I said, we actually used all of our tubes, so we can't go back around and make a U-turn. Ah, I'm sorry. I, I did. I thought that I thought I thought I had enough. I didn't, I didn't know. But it's okay. This track is still gonna be awesome. We also have these booster things. So I noticed at the end of the track, the car came out very very slow. Now we can use these boosters to make it go faster and come back around here, hit a loop, maybe do some other things, and hit the finish line. And that is what I call Plan B. I'm sorry, Plan A. It's just not gonna work. I'm sorry. I mean, we tried. I mean, we got we got the first part of it done, right? Little bit of an update of what I just built here. Coming out of the underwater tube, we got a corner piece right here, kind of sitting in the bushes, and then we have a booster. Now this booster, when the car goes through here, these wheels are going to be spinning and it kind of slings the car out. Now, unfortunately we don't have batteries, so we're gonna have to run to the store, so that's great. Continuing through here, we come all the way through here and through a thorn bush. Yes, I got some thorns in my finger trying to put this track in here, so. Yeah, but I think that is pretty cool. And then coming all the way around into another corner piece, another booster, and then I'm not sure what we're gonna build here yet. I was thinking a loop or maybe something else. I'm not sure, I'm still thinking. Oh, and also we don't have batteries for this either. So we, we, we need a lot of batteries. We needed to make a, a trip to the store. I got the batteries, we're good. Time to put this thing to the test and see how well it works. Oh my gosh, okay, that thing works really well. Whoa. You did nice, you did nice, you, you're good. Oh my gosh, we're gonna try that one more time real quick. <laughs> wow. Now that we know that both the boosters work, we are good and I think we're ready to build the loop right here. We're gonna build a loop right here. We're gonna make it similar to the first Hot Wheels video that we did. However, this one, I plan to build two to three, maybe even four times the size. Hot Wheels track is complete. I cannot express to you how excited I am right now. And also something pretty cool is I got a Hot Wheels car with a GoPro attached to it. This thing is just so cool. It has a little GoPro session on the Hot Wheels car. Hopefully we'll be able to get some cool clips with it. However, unfortunately this GoPro car is not going to be able to fit through the booster things. As you can see, it just gets stuck in it. Yeah, it doesn't really. Yeah, and it also kind of gets stuck on the corners right here, so we'll see what we can do though. But seriously guys, check this thing out. Guys, so this is gonna be our first full test on the whole entire track. Kayla is going to be launching the car. This ladder is very sketchy. I'm literally climbing straight up. Yeah, it, it's a, it's an interesting thing or two. <laughs> but I'm gonna go run over here. We got all the boosters running on and ready to go. We are just ready for you to launch it. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Okay, it, it kind of got off the track there, so I'm just gonna continue it here. Ready, here we go. Hopefully it can make it through the rest of it. Oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. I'm trying to chase it. Oh, it broke the track. I just learned that this part of the track is extremely flimsy. It comes apart really easily. I'm not sure why, but it's made it through everything so far. It's the track's fault, not the car's fault. But let's go ahead and send it through the final one. The loop, oh, it didn't have enough power. No, it wasn't fast enough. I bet you I can probably do it with my hand though. I'm not gonna need you anymore, buddy. Sorry. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. Oh, it made it! Look at that! <laughs> 
our Hot Wheels car has slowly but surely made it through the whole entire course. This was absolutely a blast to make. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Before you guys go, I have just a couple things to say. Just keep watching just a little bit longer. And also, I took the tube out of the pool because uh, I started messing around in the pool a little bit and it kept falling and, and the, the track's taken apart. I'm sorry. Real quick, I need you guys to comment in the comment section below some ideas for some more Hot Wheels tracks. We've done one from upstairs to downstairs in my house. And now we've done one from basically the roof into the pool. I feel like every time we make a Hot Wheels track, it just gets more and more difficult, but I'm always up for a challenge. So let me know in the comment section below what kind of track should I build next? And with that being said, if you guys want to see the next Hot Wheels video, I need you guys to leave a like and also click that subscribe button on this channel because if that subscribe button is red and it's glowing and waiting for you guys to click on it, I need you guys to click it. Otherwise, you're going to miss all the videos that I upload, which is sad because uh, the next video coming out is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. It has to do with a bunch of ice cream, like a gallon, like maybe five. You guys will have to see, of course, but thank you guys so much for coming kind of sticking through this video and watching it. This was a ton of fun to make. I'm extremely exhausted. This video took, I think it's been eight hours start to finish. It has been a grind trying to set this thing up because, you know, first I had problems with this thing. I had to kind of rebuild it and figure out how to make the car go down here without falling off. And then the tube, oh, don't even get me started on this tube. That was uh, interesting to build. Getting all this duct tape to fit and also preventing all the leaks and testing it multiple times to make sure no water is getting inside. And even after all that testing, there was some water that got inside. And then building the loop wasn't too bad. That only took like 20 minutes. And then the rest of the track is, well, kind of just straight. It's not that bad. And while the pool's very green, I do apologize. Our, our filter is broken for the second time. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Definitely be sure to leave a like. And if that subscribe button is red, waiting for you guys to click on it, you need to click it. Otherwise, you're going to miss all the content that I upload. And you don't want to do that because it's going to be sad when you miss it all because like the videos that are coming out this month are super cool and they're awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay safe, and stay unspeakable. And I'll see you guys not tomorrow, but the next day in a brand new vlog.